this is Massive X, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a seven oscillator pluck sound. Now, this is not going to use the unison feature here. With unison, you can get a seven oscillator sound, but you don't get control over the individual voices. You just get this overall detune spread option. But I'm going to show you how to have seven independent oscillators. All right, so I'm going to start with the Massive X blank preset, not the Massive X, but the Massive X blank one. And then let's head over to the routing tab. You can see here everything is disconnected. So I want to have two oscillators here going into the filter. Let's route it to the filter. And that filter can go to the unit effects and then to the output. So right now, if I was to play, we're just hearing this one oscillator. Let's detune it a bit. And let's bring this one up. Set this also to a sawtooth. And I'll set this a fifth above. And also detune it a bit. All right, so two oscillators so far. Now in this filter section, let's go ahead and add in a filter. Let's go with Asimov. Bring the resonance down. Key tracking up. All right, pretty decent sound so far. Now we can add three oscillators from the three different effects that we have here, the three insert effects. So in insert A, I'm going to choose oscillator, insert B, oscillator, insert C, oscillator. And then here in the routing, we can route this through the filter. Let's look at A here. Let's leave it at a sawtooth. Let's set this up an octave. Detune it a bit. All right, the next one, let's bring that in as well. So insert B oscillator. Let's set this to a pulse shape. Maybe this can go down a fifth. And then that last one, let's plug that also to the filter. And let's set this to a sine wave and up an octave. All right, so we have this one set up an octave, this one down a fifth, and this one, actually let's set this up two octaves. You notice that all the three insert oscillators key track because we have key tracking on here. All right, so five so far, and I mentioned seven. We can bring in an LFO at audio rate and listen to that in the routing tab. You can see here we have mod one. I can drop this crosshair over here. And now that modulator is gonna be routed through mod one into the filter if I plug it in there. Let's listen to L4. Right now it's in LFO mode, but if I click over here, I can switch it to audio rate and it automatically key tracks as well. All right, so in order to hear this, let's bring down the other oscillators. So that's that very subby oscillator. Let's speed it up a bit. Let's hear it with one of the oscillators to get the tuning right. All right, I like that shape, so let's go with that. Let's bring in the next LFO. So we have another mod two here. I'll drop in L5 in here, and let's plug that also through the filter. We need to tune L5. Firstly, we need to make sure that it's at audio rate. And now when I play,
All right, so it's a nice musical interval there. Let's bring back all the other oscillators. This is going to get loud, so I'll bring the amp level down. Let's load in a reverb. Let's go with the fat synth algorithm. It sounds nice. Let's add some chorusing. And lastly, let's add a dimension expander. Now, to create the plug sound, I'm going to use the performer here. I'm going to limit it to just one step, or one beat rather. Let's zoom in here. And let's assign this to the filter frequency. Could be a bit faster. I think that reverb is a bit too much. So that's how to create a 7 oscillator plug sound. I hope that was helpful and please stay tuned for more massive sound design tutorials. <laughs>